So you've started running more frequently, and throughout these runs, or at least the day after, you may find that your muscles are starting to get quite sore. This week I'm going to take you through a few tips that will start to help reduce this muscle soreness, or help solve it when it starts to hit. Okay, so my first tip for today is not just helpful in reducing muscle soreness, but generally keeping yourself injury free. Before you go out for a run, make sure that you do a warm up and just get everything prepared for heading out for a run. It makes the run itself a lot easier and generally helps to go a long way to keeping yourself injury free and your legs don't hurt as much. Now on the flip side of that tip is my second tip, which is at the end of your run, it's always good to have a little bit of a stretch. Now this is best done whilst the muscles are still warm, it stops you from hurting yourself as you're stretching and just helps to ease those muscles a bit. Moving on to tip number three. Now this is my favorite one to try and follow because whenever you get back from a run, one of the first things you should do is start and rehydrate your body and start to take on some food. This replenishes everything that you've taken out as you're running and it's always great to have a bit of food when you come back from a run. So you've gone out, you've run a few miles and now you've back hydrated and had a bit of food. Why not go put your feet up, let yourself rest a little bit and just let those muscles gradually eat out by themselves but make sure to not sit down for too long and make sure that you do keep yourself moving. Okay, so we've discussed how we can try and prevent muscle soreness, but what do you do if you've already got it? Well, here's a few tips and tricks you can try at home. Why not jump in a nice hot shower to see if you can ease those muscles? Or if you've got one, have a nice soak in a bath. You can even boost your recovery by adding some Epsom salts. If the muscle soreness is particularly bad, then you can opt for some over-the-counter painkillers or you can try and add some heat spray or heat creams on. If it's really bad, then you can even try some deep freeze. This is a great one for me to go to, and then at the end of the day, when it's all settled down, I will often jump in the bath. The last tip I would like to offer you, which will help with the muscle soreness, is to just be mindful of your training. If you're reasonably new to running, don't throw yourself into the deep end and try and clock up three or four runs a week. If you know you can do three or four runs a week, then try and not do too much on top of it. Make sure you're putting in your rest days. If you start running seven days a week without any rest days in, this is a surefire way to get yourself injured and those muscle soreness are going to be the least of your problems. We hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you very much for watching. Do you think we missed anything? Why not pop it in the comments below? For now though, go and like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos.